Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training in partnership with Beyond Borg. Roger Federer versus Novak Djokovic, Wimbledon 2015 final. Who will win this match? This is the big question, and let's look at some of the key stats going into the final. Now, head to head, Federer is leading 20 to 19. Head to head since 2011, Federer has 7 wins, Djokovic has 13 wins. Head to head in Grand Slams is 6 all. Head to head in finals, it's 5 for Federer and 8 for Djokovic. Total time on court Wimbledon in 2015, 9 hours 58 minutes for Roger Federer, 13 hours and 4 minutes for Djokovic. So Djokovic has played 3 hours more. Will that have an effect on the match? I don't think so. Djokovic would have had about 48 hours rest before the final. First serve percentage throughout the tournament, 71% for Djokovic and 67% for Roger Federer. However, in the last couple of matches, Federer has had a higher percentage. Now, the percentage of points won on first serve, Federer has 85% and Djokovic has 77%. So Federer is leading by quite a margin on the first serve percentage of points won. Second serve percentage of points won, 66 for Federer, 65 for Djokovic. Now, break points faced throughout the tournament. Federer has only faced four break points the whole tournament, and uh, Djokovic has faced 25. Now, this is a big thing. Federer has been serving incredibly well the whole two weeks. If he carries this into the final, expect a Federer victory. Now, net points won 145 out of 199 for Roger Federer, and 116 out of 166 for Novak Djokovic. Now those are the stats heading into the final. What I think about the final is if Federer can continue serving the way he served the past two weeks, he's only lost serve once and that was to Jill Simon and in that service game Jill Simon hit a couple of great returns. If he can continue serving like this, if Federer can continue serving the way he served the last two weeks, I think Federer will come through in four sets. Now a big standout thing for me has been the difference in the body language between Federer and Djokovic. We haven't seen Federer lose his cool, he's remained very calm the whole two weeks, very positive, but Djokovic on the other hand, he's been quite negative in certain matches, especially against Anderson and at times against Gasquet, looking up at his box, looking quite negative. I think he's still feeling the effects of losing that French Open final to Stan Wawrinka. But more importantly than what I think, I want to hear what you think. Who do you think is going to win the final? What do you think the score is going to be? Do you think Federer can win his 18th Grand Slam? Do you think Djokovic can overcome the negative emotions and come through as the champion tomorrow? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to uh, click the like button if you like this video and thanks for watching. We have just released our brand new course, The Tennis Blueprint. This is the complete course to mastering your tennis game. Now in this course we have put all our previous courses in one and we have added a lot of new content and that course is available now. To find out more, click this box.